Hey man, um, I got you playing in the background because I want you to know that I'm watching your video. I've seen it like three times. Um, the other day I went to go visit some family members in the in the town, not too, oh, it was pretty far from here, and um, I went all the way to soon. And I go into a 7-Eleven, and it's like these uh, three little black kids. They got all this stuff up on the register, and the man is arguing with these kids. And um, me, being the person I am, I'm like, you know, I have a pocket full of change and shit, you know. I ate $10 worth of change, quarters and dimes and nickels and shit. I reach in my pocket, I grab, you know, some of it, and I put it up there, I'm like, give them what they want. And dude goes through the change and shit. And he's telling them that they can't get everything they had up there on the register. I'm like, give them what they want. It don't fucking matter. You know, a grown-ass motherfucking dude in there arguing with little children. Little black kids. And yelling at them. And I'm like, you know, give them what they want. Oh, sir, 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 give them what they want. I reach my hand in my pocket again and pull out another hand of change. Like, give them their shit. Give it to them. Give it to them. If, if, if whatever's changed left over, give it to the lady standing behind him. I proceeded to go to the freezer, grab myself a Heineken, a, you know, a big one and a big uh, bag of skins. I went and paid for my purchase. And the lady's like, why did you do that? I'm like, it's because this grown-ass man is arguing with these children over what they can and cannot buy from a store. Some adult shows up and gives them more money and the grown ass man still wants to argue with the children. Why? And it's like sometimes you do gotta help somebody else before you can help yourself. And I've noticed uh, over the last week, you know, I, I walk into the store, can you spare some change? No, I can't. But do, if you want something, I will go ahead and buy it with what I got. Because I know I ain't got nothing. But um, people can't do that. Because once you start helping people blindly, then you got people find out about it. Then you got people stepping in front of you to try to get that help. I mean, people are bad. Like you said, make moves as a power, as a unified group of people. They can't. They can't. So, um, like you said, man, uh, help somebody. Listen. Save a life. Save somebody's life. Do something for somebody other than yourself. I appreciate you for this video. But brother, you coming from Oakland? Hey man, I was right there in Richmond and in Oakland and in Berkeley. Um, it's fucked up. But we have to build a better life for them. We just can't help people. We have to rebuild everything. Um, like you said, the Black Panthers, uh, you know, you know, the Black struggle and the movement is dead. The struggle's over. The struggle was for nothing. We lost. Dream deferred. So, we can help till we blue in the face, but it ain't gonna mean nothing until somebody get up and help with us. You've been too, brother. Um, I want you to stay strong, keep doing what you're doing, because if you quit talking, people quit hearing you.